So you're interested in PSA's micro dagger, are you? You came to the right review, guys. This is going to be the best, the most comprehensive review of PSA's micro dagger. Why? Because back here at the CQB range, we're going to test it with the iron sights. We're going to test it with a red dot. But the big thing is, is we're going to put it through its paces with some ammo. I'm going to try a ton of different ammo, different rounds, different distances. We'll put a red dot on and we will see what we can get for accuracy and what round it likes. Guys, this is going to be an awesome review. You turned to the right review. Nice. Nice. Hey guys, I'm Drew Case from Beyond Seclusion, bringing the reviews to you directly here on Gun.Deals. Now, if you are not familiar with Gun.Deals, it is a website where you go find and share the best gun-related deals out there. Politics. Now, hopefully, I did not jinx myself with an intro of this is going to be the best, but you know what? I got confidence in what I do. So, before we get going and do anything, let's check out the specs and tech. What can we expect? You know, what are the compatibilities? You know, everything that you're going to go to the web page and try to dig up, hopefully, I've put together in a nice, concise, easy to find format. Check it out. Hey, real quick, guys, I'm working on another review and, you know, I d I'm not going to say what gun it is, but here's the dagger. OK, this is a micro carry. This holds 15 rounds. This has the extended mag and it holds eight. Without that extended mag, it holds six. But look at the width. I mean, they're almost identical. So, you know, I don't know. It's kind of a no brainer. 15, 8 with the extended round. Now, we look at the tops, and same thing. There's hardly any difference, guys. They're both really narrow, really slim, really concealable. Okay, real fast, I wanted to compare and contrast one of my favorites, the Hellcat. Okay, when it came out, it, I believe, was the highest capacity in the smallest package possible. And I do love it. Now, this one actually has the extended mag, but, um, and, and this is, you know, truly a subcompact concealed carry. I wanted to do this because I thought the micro dagger was actually going to be larger. And when we match them up, um, it really isn't. And, to be completely honest, that really surprised me. Um, and I do love my Hellcat, guys, and it is comfortable. I love shooting it. It also feels like a micro or a subcompact in my hand. Now, this has 13 capacity, and this has 15. Now, again, com being completely honest, this feels like I have a full size in my hand, but with the size of a micro, I, I really, to be honest, was surprised with this. Hey guys, really quick note on mountain and optic on the micro. You can see down in there, there's a rod for the extractor on the right side. So you need a shorter pin or shorter screw on the right side than on the left. If it's too long, it's gonna push on that and then you're gonna have problems with failure to extract. So I got the screw just a little bit shorter on the right side than I do on the left. So the Micro Dagger is super popular. 
It comes with one mag, and of course, PSA has their mags, and they're awesome. But we also do, because of its modularity, have the ability to use aftermarket mags because it's Glock compatible. Special thanks to Gun Mag Warehouse for providing a variety of the mags to try and test here. Also, you know, uh, thanks Gun Mag Warehouse for providing the mags. Yeah, so there you go. Hopefully, that is everything that you could possibly want to know. At least it's everything that I could get my hands on for the specs and tech for the micro dagger. Now what I want to do is I like to do a straight out of the box, okay? This is unfired. It is just as it came. You know, we don't have a red dot, nothing. Let's just see what we can do. Now, if you're not familiar with my channel, one of the things is, is I like to shoot at distance. Yeah, I, I'm very aware... Okay, that this is a micro dagger. This is meant for concealed carry. And guys, if you are defending yourself and you're shooting somebody at 25 or 50 yards, you have some legal issues. But what I like to do is I like to take this out because, hey, guys, if we can bang with this at 25 and 50 yards, we ought to be able to hit something really close, right? That's my philosophy anyway. Let's start having some fun. Hey, real quick, before I start pulling the trigger, I did a review a long time ago on the original dagger when it came out. In fact, there was a bunch of us influencers. We did a torture test, and I don't remember what we got up to. Was it 12,000 rounds? Anyway, when I got it, it was at 7,000 rounds. I took it from 7,000 to 8,000. Anyway, the point of all that is, is the dagger itself is a proven platform. People love it. The micro dagger is the newest. You know, we do have some smaller stuff here, so it, you know it will be interesting. Where I wanted to go with this is the second that you put this in your hand, it is comfortable. So, you know, before I get shooting, and you know, I don't know, we potentially run into any problems or anything. It is comfortable. With that said, let's see if with that comfort we can bang down here at twenty-five. We're going to start at twenty-five. <laughs> Tell me that didn't rock. Okay, honesty and full transparency, guys. I am no engineer. Okay, I am not an expert gun. I'm just a knuckle dragon trigger puller, and I will tell you that this is a nice gun to shoot. The recoil on this, she is a princess. She recoils like a princess, which really just shocks me. So I don't know if it's the angle of the grip or what they've done, but um, you know, for all the small concealed carry nines, a lot of them are just, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, they're definitely, they don't shoot like a princess as far as the recoil. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay, what I want to do now is, is, yeah, it works just great out of the box with the iron sights. My vision's not the best. What I want to do is I want to find a red dot to put on here, um, get that zeroed, and then have some fun, see how far we can stretch out. And then also I want to try a whole bunch of different ammo and see what we can get for accuracy and see which one it likes the best. Make sure that, you know, we don't have any feed issues with, you know, 147 grain hollow point or anything like that. Anyway, anyway, let's get okay, to it. It's going to be a super hot day, 101, and the sun's coming up and we've got a little wind going. I want to show you real quick the sight picture. So this is what I'm seeing at 50 anyway, yards. I just want to show you the groups that I started getting with this. All right, guys, I am super happy with that. For a micro nine mil at 50 yards, even bench, that is sweet. It okay, so for accuracy, we're gonna try at 25 yards. 
We're going to start off with 147 grain, then we'll go 124, 115, and then we'll do the 115 grain, the XTP, and the 124 grain XTP thus far. That's what I had the best luck with when I was getting things sighted in. Let's just see what we can do. Okay, now real quick, when I'm shooting for accuracy, I'm not, I don't have a death grip on it. I'm actually trying to hold it as lightly as possible. All my attention is going on that dot to try to keep it perfectly still. So it's gonna jump and recoil and look excessive, but it's not. That's actually a pretty solid group. All right, let's try the 124. Okay, I'm not gonna do this with every single one, but you get the idea. Right, so I just finished the last round of the 124 gang. I'm gonna be honest, they were clumping so much that it was actually getting hard to see the green dot. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that 124 crane XTP. That's the first shot. That last one was a flinch. So that, wow. Okay, and then the 115 grain, that's not bad. Wow, now that's impressive for the 115 grain full metal jacket, just basic range ammo, guys. That rocks. 124, you know, could have been me, or it didn't like that. And then the 147, not bad either. Guys, I am so impressed, honestly, for a micro pistol at 25 yards over there. That's not bad. Okay, so let's try some non-AAC. One of my personal favorites. For self-defense, is the spear gold dot, the bonded hollow point. Got the 147 grain, and then the 9 millimeter, the 124 grain plus P gecko. I've had great luck with that. And then let's just see how it does with Wolf and Tula. All right, guys, I think you might be surprised with these groups. That's Tula. <laughs> I don't want to use that for self-defense. Okay, so the gold dot, the 124 plus P, you know, not bad. Nice, 147 grain, sweet. Okay, there's the gecko, and I always have great luck with gecko. In fact, if we get rid of the two flyers, I think that is probably the tightest group that we've got. Um, there's the wolf, eh, and then two... Uh, Nice, guys. Okay, so let's just try some of these different mags. Um, all of them actually fit and would appear to work. This one kind of stuck um, when it was empty and then releasing the slide. But let's just start with the ETS. And then we're going to do and just go down the line. Okay, so let's just start with the ETS, the red one. Okay. It's not liking those. Okay, and that was... Okay, well, it doesn't like the ETS. Um, for whatever reason, it's, it's not allowing it to cock. Um, well, there the trigger went forward. For some reason, the the trigger's not moving forward on it. Another so here's Double. another ETS. Before I get it all loaded again, let's just make sure that it works. I'm going to try down there. Okay, that worked. Let's fill it back up. Nope, doesn't like that one either. It's a no-go. For some reason, uh, there the trigger reset, huh? Okay. Okay. 
the way the mag sits because the trigger just reset. Anyway, uh, let's go to the next one. Okay, let's try the Pro Mag. Now, I know it went in, but it doesn't drop out. It's a little tight fitting. Well, there we go. All right. I just kept missing that one. Okay, Pro Mag, thumbs up. Okay, so this is the little ETS California compliant, the 10 rounder. Same thing with the trigger. Okay, so the ETS, they, this is not a Glock. So they are for the Glock 43 and the Glock 43X. Um, but there may be a slight enough difference that they're just not working in this one. Okay, so we tested the aftermarket mags. Didn't have as much luck as I was hoping. Um, that's nothing against Gun Mag Warehouse. I absolutely love Gun Mag Warehouse. I get most of my mags from there all the time. Anyway, since we're back here, let's just have a little fun. And with the optic on here, see how fast we can transition. bad for one-handed. Let's just see how good we can do at 25 yards. I thought that was okay. Hey, that wasn't bad at 50 yards. Nice. Nice. Hey, okay, real quick here, out of the case and then an up close, I wanted to point out the cases that the PSA pistols come in are really nice. What is really cool is all this is Velcro, so you can actually, you can customize this and move it around as you like. I love that. Um, it comes, you know, with the lock, the screws here for the optics mount, and one mag. I would love to see it come with two mags. A lot of pistol companies or companies that send pistols out send them out only with one mag. I'd like to see two. Okay, so the up close, the first thing that you're going to notice when you put this in your hand is it's extremely comfortable. I really do like the grip. They, I think they knocked that out of the ballpark. 
The serrations here on the front and the back are very aggressive. I like those. The front sight is metal, same with the rear. Those are adjustable for, at least the rear sight, I'm sorry, is adjustable for windage, not for elevation. And then we've got our optics ready plate here. We'll get to that. We've got really nice lasering texturing, okay? With the small uh, subcompacts like this, they don't usually come with interchangeable back straps or anything like that. But, you know, we've just got ergonomics all over. We've got a one slot Picatinny slide there for a light or something, which is great because I have seen on a lot of these, you know, subcompacts, the really small guns not coming with a rail, and I don't like that. Um, the trigger on this thing is sweet. That is a nice, short, crisp reset. I like that. I think that's going to equate to some, some really good accuracy. Um, you know, then we've got the, oh, I'm not, I don't even know what you call it, that's going to protrude to show you that it's chambered. Okay, breakdown on this is really easy. It's just a classic Glock. And you pull that back a little bit, you pull that down on both sides, and then it comes apart, take the barrel off, and then put the barrel back on. I love that. Okay, slide release is not ambidextrous. Now it's nice, and it's not the smallest pistol out there, but it is definitely small, and it comes with 15 rounds. And that is not an extended mag. That's nice. You know, 15 rounds in something this small and exceptionally thin, that's a game changer. Overall, it's just very aesthetically pleasing, but the more important thing is it's comfortable. Okay, I just got to see what the trigger pull on this is. It is a sweet trigger. Five pounds. Five pounds. Yeah, I know. So we're getting a consistent five pounds. And like I said, the reset, it feels less than five pounds to me. I think that's going to give us the ability to get some really good accuracy, especially when I put a red dot on here. And what I'm really curious is with a nice trigger like that, if we're going to be able to hit 200 yards. Let's go find out. There you go, guys. As I always say, it is what it is. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, come check me out under Beyond Seclusion on YouTube. Until next time on Gun.Deals, happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And every time we're on the range, every time we're shooting, that makes us ambassadors, willing or unwillingly, for the Second Amendment. So do me a favor. Be a good ambassador. Be a safe and responsible gun owner.